Godly women of the Bible and how God used them in His plan. Hmm, do you remember who we looked at last week? Yeah, it was Ruth last week. Oh, yeah, that's right. And we learned about how she trusted God and His plan. Exactly. And do you know who we're learning about this week? I think this week we are looking at the story of Mary and Martha. Yeah, and their story is such a good one. So let's watch this video to remind us of their story story, Mary and Martha. So part of God's story is about Mary and Martha, and it goes like this. Mary and Martha were sisters. We don't know a whole lot about them, but we do know they lived in Martha's house in a town called Bethany. Mary and Martha were really good friends with Jesus, so when they invited friends over to hang out, sometimes Jesus came over. Kids, what would you do if Jesus was coming to your house? Well, one time, Jesus came over for dinner at Mary and Martha's. When he arrived, the sisters got everything ready. Or rather, Martha got everything ready. Mary wasn't helping at all. She just sat at the feet of Jesus, listening to him talk. When Martha saw Mary sitting there, she was furious. She wanted everything to be perfect for Jesus, and she thought that Mary should help. Eventually, Martha got so mad that she stomped over to where Mary was sitting. She didn't even talk to Mary. Instead, she said, Jesus, my sister has left me to do the work by myself. Don't you care? Tell her to help me. When Jesus heard Martha, he wasn't mad. He just wanted to be with her. He said, Martha, Martha, you are worried and upset about many things, but only one thing is needed. Kids, that one thing is Jesus. See, Jesus didn't mind that Martha was making dinner. That's a nice thing to do. The problem was, Martha didn't realize how special it was to be spending time with Jesus. She was too focused on making dinner. Imagine planning a big party for all your friends, but you got so caught up in getting ready, you didn't even get to have fun with them, which was the whole reason you had them over. That's kind of like what happened to Martha. Anyway, as for Mary, she wasn't being lazy. She just cared about Jesus more than anything else. Maybe more than she cared about what Martha thought of her and maybe definitely more than making a perfect dinner for her friends. Of course, Jesus likes it when we help our sisters, or our friends, or our moms, or our dads, or our brothers, or our cousins, or anyone else who needs it. But he told us that the most important thing we can do is love him and God with all our hearts. And the second most important thing we can do is love others. You can read about it in Matthew 22:36 in the Bible. Martha wasn't loving God or Mary, so Jesus encouraged her to act like her sister. Mary had a chance to sit at Jesus' feet, and she did. And that's the story of Mary and Martha. So in case you missed it, here's the quick version. Mary and Martha were sisters. They lived together. They were friends with Jesus. They invited Jesus over. Martha worked on dinner. Mary sat with Jesus. Martha got mad. Martha told Jesus she was mad. Jesus said Martha only needs one thing, him. Loving Jesus is the most important thing we can do. And that's a part of God's story. Hmm, that's an interesting story. Sounds like it has some good lessons we can learn from. Yeah, it seems like the two sisters had two different ideas on what's important to Christians. Yeah, so like Martha, some people think it's best to always be busy serving others because that's what we are called to do. Yeah, and serving is not a wrong thing to do. In fact, the Bible often encourages us to serve others. But what Mary shows is that it is important to spend time with God. The Bible says the number one commandment is to love God first and then to love others. So if we love God first and prioritize Him first, He empowers us to serve others and we will do a much better job at loving them as well. And we should all learn to be like Mary first and then like Martha. Definitely. This week's memory verse is found in Luke 10:38. 
10.42 and it says, Only one thing is important. Mary has chosen the right thing and it will never be taken away from her. Luke 10.42 So kids, let's say it all together now. Luke 10.42 Only one thing is important. Mary has chosen the right thing and it will never be taken away from her. Luke 10.42 Remember to practice this one at home. Let's do an activity to help us remember today's story. All you'll need is this week's template, some scissors, textures, tape, and your puzzle piece from last week. So first, we're going to take this week's template and we're going to cut out the puzzle piece. So like this. So next, let's write Mary and Martha at the top of the puzzle piece because that's the story we looked at then. Like this. And then under the words Mary and Martha, we're going to write, teach me to first love God and then love others. Like this. Now you can decorate your puzzle piece if you like. And lastly, we're going to find our puzzle piece from last week and we're going to join it together with the puzzle piece from this week. So we're going to hold them together like this and you can take them here in the middle. puzzle pieces aside for next week when we add to it again. Kids, let's pray together. Dear Jesus, thank you for loving us so much. Thank you for wanting us to love you. Help us to always put you first in our lives. Help us to love you better so that we can also love and serve others better. In Jesus' name, Amen. Well, that's all we have for today, kids, but we hope you learned something from today's story of Mary and Martha. And remember to send us any questions you might have about this week's lesson or about God or the Bible in general, and either comment them in the section below or email the questions to us. Also, if you are older, don't forget to check out the Facebook group for the worksheet today. And we hope to see you all next week, and we hope you have a blessed week. Bye! Bye.